everyone, what about here, and welcome to Tavern of the Gods. No idea how this is gonna go, we're just gonna dive right in. Okay, world map. Pick a hero. Increase attack speed of all uh, allies, range, ranger followers. Uh, attack power of ranger followers. Hit point of nature followers, and allies, nature followers are immune to slow. Darren, spell power of mages. Uh, crit chance of ma mages. Mages or humans are immune to silence. Crit damage of all human followers. Or earnest. Increases basic defense of warrior units, attack of warrior followers. Bizarre followers are immune to disarm, and max health of bizarre. Let's go. Let's go with her. Okay, select that, and we also get a follower. Starting follower. So we want nature. Let's grab the goblin. Goblin hunter, boss lizard, and leader. Map exclusive effect none. Well, let's see how this goes. I, I do appreciate that it just dies, uh, drops me right in. Okay, enemies on this map have been reduced, uh, have been reduced the max health, but still be careful, good luck. Okay, translation is going to be Wonku. So, choose an enemy. Increased chance of followers, souls, and equipments being discovered below. Oh, I see. So we can find boots, a heavy weapon, helmet, boots, and we should probably also only... Pick the ones that have nature in the banner. Thing is, all of them do. I guess let's go for this one. Because I see a bow on the list and we might need it. Okay, leadership plus two in defeating an enemy. Upgrade leadership. Current price 100, next price 200. I don't know what leadership does. Leadership. Total leadership of all followers in the battle cannot exceed the max leadership. Oh, and this is full TFT. Look at this. So... Three, five, seven, nature. Uh, Rangers fight together in case hit chance. Okay, cool. Well, we're starting with this guy and we'll just figure it out. This, this is immediately accessible. I understand how this works. Uh, I'm assuming the timer is purely for speedrunners, but I could be wrong. Okay, so loot. I've got five crystals. And I can potentially buy some things. Okay, so we've got a follower, axe commander, guardian human, beholder, dark Amazons, and bizarre. Heavy weapon. Let's see. Alt to view or hide additional attributes. Inactive attributes, so rare or legendary. So we don't have any of those. Um, I'm going to refresh, see if we get anything. So, Summoner. Summoners fight together. Increase max health. Okay. Summoner Human. Summoner Savage. We do also have the Wind Scout. Restore mana after casting basic skill. What is this? Spell Defense. I guess I'm just going to buy the uh, Spirit Shaman. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so Summoners. Fight together, full mana. Okay. Uh, level 1 Elemental Puppet. Active skill. Summon an Elemental Puppet. Summon to attack, uh, to assist the attack. The Elemental Puppet has 25% of the max health of the Spirit Shaman, 40% of... Okay. That makes sense. Chain Lightning, basic skill, dartle. Alright, I get this. Where are we going? Uh, anywhere that has Summoners, I guess, seeing as I don't see any Natures. Let's go this way. Okay, so the summoners are actually much lower range. And yeah, this this plays super familiar, uh, super similarly. Like, if you've played TFT or Underlords, this is going to be uh, one for one the kind of thing you'd recognize. Oh, so... Soul Spirit Shaman can be used for the activation and promotion of Spirit Shaman. Okay, so by getting four of them, they'll go up. Maybe. It's an option. She's also a summoner. So yeah, let's let's just get these two. Oh, and I can also recharge crystals if I want to buy more. Only do that if I see something actually worthwhile. Okay. Looks like I'm having some leadership issues. 
onwards. And I guess I'm stuck with the whole ghost summoner thing, so we're just going to own it. So instead of dupes, you get souls? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I probably should have checked what her ability is. Oh, the answer is summon friend. Many friends. That worked out well for me. Okay. Soul, soul, and that. So we'll buy those. Unlock a skill. S oh boy. Collection. Hero skill. So I've got a slot. We have shelter. Summon a shield to protect an ally's follower. Shield can absorb all damage for the follower. The maximum value does not exceed 35% of the follower's max health. Shield lasts for 6 seconds. Max number it casts twice. I guess I'll activate? I see. It costs a blue book to use. I have no idea where that... I don't know. This is going to take a little bit of learning. But that's true of like most games. It's said that my ancestor was a merchant named Geed. Let me try my luck. Package NPC refresh. What am I looking at? Mystery shop. Okay, so I've got a... I've got... Oh, I got it. So I've got a 2,200 silver coins. As opposed to gold coins. This lets me actually buy re resources. And yes, it is Geed from Diablo 2. Unknown follower souls. Oh, so I could just buy some, some summoners if I wanted to. And heavy weapons, skill books, skill books. So right click to buy. Well. Oh, that, that really worked out for me, actually. Because now we've got four of them. Can be promoted. Okay, what else do we get? I could exchange for money. Let's see. Unknown equipment. Skill books. Okay, these are hero skill books. I'm going to just leave those for the time being. Sanctioner. I'll think about it. Uh, let's see what else we get. Let's just buy some cheap skill books. I don't know. We're just... We're on full geed time. And do we exchange for some money? Sure. That probably wasn't worth it. But that's okay. Alright, how do I do equipment? Follower. Ah, here we do. So each character has three items. Lifelink. 15% of Soul Watcher's damage dealt to converted health of summoners. Summons a Wrath Guard. We have Sanctioner. Heavy weapon, basic attributes, crit chance, 24%, basic defense protect. Okay, let's do that there. And we want to promote this guy. Increases him. Stars are good. Synergies. Fight with... Huh. Alright. This is a lot. But I'm understanding it. Uh, let's see. That's got summoners. That's got nature. I should probably go nature. Uh, but you know what? We're already halfway deep into the whole summoner business anyway, so I guess I'm just doing it. The tutorial was we lower the max HP so you can learn. Good luck. If that's the case, awesome. I'm still probably going to lose, but I'm, I'm starting to understand this, and I'm certainly enjoying it. Okay, so we need eight... Souls of that. We could get another ranger if I wanted to. Get the mana addict. There is the galaxy rush. Which is regenerate half, half of a percent of maximum health every second. Honestly, let's keep buying souls for this dude. And refresh. Resummons damage, regen. I guess I'm gonna grab that. I wonder if equipment uh, can be combined in this exact same manner, or do we just have to find the legendary stuff? Clean up equipment transmog. Wait, 
Do I just keep the items that I buy? Okay. I get this guy down? Yes. Onwards. And this one. Okay, shelter, and this guy's taking damage. Might as well. Okay, it's a little wonky, but I'm liking this. This is, this is pretty good. Dodge chance, cooldown, spell penetration, basic defense, spell power. Let's just refresh, see if I get anything fancy. I mean, I guess I might as well just pick up whatever. Because I can always trans transmog things that I don't want. Summoners here. So does this have a meta progression system? I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, and I, I've been I've been told at least it's got a fairly ample one. I'm assuming it's probably items, but there's got to be more things that I don't even know about. Oh, leadership plus three after defeating one enemy. Okay, Thunder Golem. I'll have to look into some of these. What is that? Hit chance, spell power, basic attack power. Restores three mana after casting a skill. May maybe. Let's see, Fire Warlock. Okay. So, you keep all souls, equipment, and traits as long as you return from the expedition. I... That sounds a little busted. Before the challenge, let's prepare something. View redeemed items? Oh. <laughs> what? View map features. What? Okay, so I can do... Protective Field Skill Books and Chaos Vortex into Withering. Oh, here we go. Rebirth. Increase the health recovery of all allies within three and a half yards and regenerate 150 health per second for three seconds. Max number of casts is twice. What else do we have? Purge. I don't know. I feel like big heals might not be a bad idea. Okay, let's let's go rebirth instead. And onwards? Boss. I don't believe in myself, but we'll find out. It does seem maybe a little easy, but I'm sure I don't know. Was that it? Dude. I'm assuming... I'm assuming that's it. Uh, let's see, Thunder Golem. No. Reduce damage when blocking, debuff damage. Debuff might be interesting. Okay, so that lets us promote her. Demon. Steal three mana when hitting an enemy with a basic attack. Four mana. Damage taken will not exceed 15% of maximum health. Demons actually seem like it might be kind of cool. So reduce duration of crowd control, reduce active skill cooldown by 50%. Manage regen a lot of stuff. Okay. You're right. It is we are on on easy mode right now. Well, I've got some crystals to spend. Let's start picking up some demons. And ominous cove. Oh, right. We're still going. So is this an auto chest? Yes, it is. Okay, select map feature. So, transmog success rate, rarity of items found. Reduce damage taken from crit of enemy by 48%. I don't know, let's just go hard. Let's see what we can grab. I'm assuming that might actually doom me. We will find out. Anyway, summoners here. Oh, right. Other one? 
Spirit Shaman. Why you? No, it's it's you. Promote. I wish more games had this uh, this team building concept, not just auto battlers. Like a tower defense, I'd love that. Oh man, that would be amazing. Applying uh, auto battler mechanics to a tower defense game could be incredible. Can I get the demon down? I think I can, yeah. Yep, just barely. Oh shit, these guys are well equipped. Well, I think I still win, at least for this round. Thank you, Rebirth Spell. Okay, unlock a new slot. I guess we'll grab Shelter for now. What else do we have? Madness. Makes an ally's follower into a madness state. Uh, let's see. So double attack speed, damage taken increased by 20%. Cannot cast skill skills regen. Eh. Withering. No. Protective field. Maybe. I'll think about it. Wait, did we lose the potential reward here? Oh, loot. Here we go. So we've got another... Oh, we've got a demon summoner. Let's see. Refresh. We'll just get more souls for the spirit shaman. So let's switch out my archer for the time being. Because now we're up to summoner 3. We want summoner 4. Yeah, if I can get summon summoner six, uh, it makes it so they all summon immediately. So war crow, summon a war crow, elemental puppet. Yeah, making this guy's basic attacks actually be pretty good might be worthwhile. I'm also noticing they're also level one, higher star, but still level one. Curious how that works. Uh, let's see. So we want summoners and demons if I can do it. Nope, can't. Uh, let's see. We'll just go this one. Hello! Yeah, I'm just gonna have the, uh, the shelter and the rebirth. Alright, we should probably turn speed up on, just because. Okay, follower, soul armor, warrior, bazaar. Nah. Hey, we're also starting to run into some to some unique items. Let's get the attack speed one. Then re-roll. Crit damage, spell power. Restore mana after casting a skill. Get chance. Uh, let's just grab that. Okay, follower. We want to put this on the spirit shaman. Because, yeah, giving him a 30% extra attack speed means more Chain Lightning. I'm not actually sure if how good Chain Lightning is when it comes down to it, but I'm assuming it's probably pretty good. It looks like it's, it's very much proximity-based. We should probably give him the shield. There we go. Yeah, the tank helps. He's not really a tank. He's an assassin. I could definitely use, like, a proper tank here. Okay, we could also maybe look into getting a ranger. Maybe. What else have we got? So when I see an item that says increase summons health by 16%, does that actually just increase the follower's health or is it is it only for uh for summoners themselves? Unfortunately because the translation on this is kind of bad, I'm not entirely sure how everything works. I do get buffs for both nature and ranger. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like I should probably grab a couple of them. We don't have the leadership spots for it. Uh, let's see. Well, 
do we just pick one up and just see if it works? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's see. I guess the way to check... Max health. 1,200. No. So it looks, it looks like the puppet mask is purely for summoners themselves. Yeah, increase summons health. Okay. So collection. Oh. I see. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to wait on these. This looks awesome, but there's no way we're going to be able to do it. Because it looks like it has to be rare first. Before I can get them. Maybe. Okay. Well, it's Geed again. Let's grab... Might as well just grab a bunch of souls. Oh, I don't have enough gold. Alright. That was easy. Bye. Okay. Don't see any summoners. Do see some nature. We want to start going that direction. Yeah, we'll do it. Not that I'm in terribly dire straits yet. Honestly, just having this thing to tank for me is incredible. But I definitely want to get those extra summoners so I can... spit out the whole group. Okay, what do we have? Hmm... Or you're human, savage. This guy is a ranger, if we wanted to go that way. I mean, I probably should. I just don't have the space for it right now. Okay, I got the space for one. Uh, let's see. Nope. Too big. Oh, 8, 10, and 8. So we can get this guy down without problems. Loot. Yeah, what else do I got? Oh, we're even getting higher soul counts here. That's good stuff. Uh, let's see. I will admit, though, I'm going to keep pushing Summoner. I realized I picked the Ranger hero, but I... Bit of advice I was given a long time ago about uh, how to not do garbage in auto battlers is uh, just take what they give you and don't try and force a build. Obviously, like, I'm losing out on a big bonus here, but we didn't really run into a whole lot of nature or ranger units, so. Well, speaking of, that's a good one. Mage, Bazaar, nah. Okay, we definitely want to fit that in, though. Because this guy's a savage ranger, which you don't have space for. Let's see. Go this direction? Sure. I think we're still doing fine. Yeah. I like this. I like how Astronarch was much more specifically about the characters you were using. This is much more specifically... Let's see. This is much more specifically, like, authentic teamfight tactics, oddler, auto battler style gameplay. Uh, let's see. Kind of bored by these. We could get... We could get the Dragon Queen. Yeah, let's grab the Dragon Queen. Boy, that's 
All right. Sure. Uh, let's see, how much money do I have? Not much. Hello, few redeemed items. We could get some vouchers. Oh, to refresh the item store? Nah. To the challenge. We are going to die. Yeah, I figured I'd go for her because she seems to have a heck of a lot more HP. Thank you, Chain Lightning, for carrying me forward. I might have to turn off the music. Let's actually let's do that right now. There's there's honestly no music to this game to begin with. It's just a little bit of like da 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 in the background. Let's just turn on my own thing. Because I'm actually enjoying this, I want to play more of it. And I don't want the music to hold it back. Unfortunately, it takes Pretzel some time to actually turn back on, but that's fine. Chip tunes. Yeah, I didn't even notice any music. Yeah, it was it was so innocuous. Loot, defeat boss, gain chest, win in 30 seconds. None of the allies died. Defeat boss for the first time. Cool. All right. Some more attack speed. Let's grab the spell defense. Okay. Followers. So, first and foremost, let's take a look at the Spirit Shaman. And let's just give him attack speed. This sucker is going to be chain lightninging like crazy. Attacks per second. Point nine. Yeah, that's fine. What is hit chance? Do we have to worry about it? Okay. Dragon Queen, give her the durability. Give her that. I don't know, just give them the hit chance. And to Devil Lava. So this game's a single player auto chess, then. Yup. Okay. Let's just go with this one. I haven't looked into transmog yet. Oh. Increase debuff damage by enemy. That might be better. Okay. I'm kind of understanding. Right, the other thing is we're ranger based. Yeah, this is where we want to go. I feel like rarity of items is important. Yeah. Man, that, that demon ke queen is just absolutely tanking. Okay, getting three equipment of the same rarity lets you transmog for a chance of higher tier gear. So you can focus on upgrades too. Gotcha. Okay, well we got gems boots. Reroll, see if I can get something else. Honestly, let's focus souls on her. Okay, got a new skill slot. I don't even have any books that I care too much about. A protective field. Okay. And then onwards. Because I already got the loot. Yeah, I already got the loot. Let's see. I guess I'll keep going for summoners, even though I'm not really using summoners for much. Oh, right. That's what I was going to do. I was going to get the forest dryad. So now we're up to summoner two. Okay. Basic defense, crit damage. That definitely goes on the dragon queen. Okay, and we are starting to run into two star enemies. What is that helmet called? Night face? Uh, I'm, I'm chalking a lot of it up to very poor translation. 
Oh, that's what that does. That's not that great. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Do we keep getting Goblin Hunter Souls? Maybe. Max health, 24% though. I'm just gonna keep picking up Souls for now. And keep buffing her. She's my she's my only tank, so I might as well make her beefy. Ooh, yeah, that's uh that's some beef right there. Still probably want to grab another uh demon just to fill the whole thing out, but Let's see. Nope. You kidding? Nightface is a great name for a helmet. It is, but there's definitely that kind of aspect of like, oh yeah. This might not have been translated the best. And now, th now they're starting to actually hit harder. But it's fine. They only really are managing to get through my front line and nothing more. I'm honestly going to turn down the sound effects. I honestly don't care to hear this game. <laughs> it's just bzz, 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 periodically, which is like, alright, whatever. A holy mecha. I might have to pick that up. I uh, know. Let's let's pick up the items. So attack power, hit chance, six mana after casting a skill. Okay. Oh. For every war crow on the field, the damage of dark Amazons is increased by 5%. That's really good. We might still want to give it to the Soul Watcher, though. Nah, let's give it let's let's give it to the Dark Amazons. Okay, what is this again? Crit chance, defense penetration. I guess let's just make his uh his chain lightning big. There we go. Let me try my luck. Hello, Geed! Demon of souls, many souls. Uh, let's see, can I? I can promote him again. Hell yes, yeah, spirit shaman. Still only level one. I'm curious about the whole leveling situation. But that's okay. Onwards and werewards. I guess let's go this way. Now, does this rebirth just last? Nah, no, I can't. No, she's not healing anymore. Okay, what else have we got? Oh. That might just upgrade it. Okay. Is this equipment transmog? So I'm assuming if we have three of the same thing, we can... Specifically combine these into a better one? Yeah. 86% chance to get a blue one. 14% chance to get a purple one. I'll take it. Oh, and it comes with extra att attributes, too. Alright, works for me. Onwards. Uh... Shoot. Do we want another demon? I already have another demon. Let's try and let's try and snag some rangers. Speaking of, how much do I need for this guy? A lot.
Okay. Well, we are kicking ass. The summoner build... I, apparently, they can keep summoning more. It's just really difficult to get enough mana to pull it off. Okay, another demon, Grudge Witch. Eh. There's this basic leech and hit chance. That might be worth something. Well, let's keep grabbing souls for that guy. Okay. Dragon Queen. I'll try giving her the basic leech, see if it's any good. Probably not. I think we'll want to just focus on uh, maxing her out. Or just maxing out her survivability and nothing more. Yeah, it doesn't look like she actually does a whole lot of damage. So what is this game called? Tavern of the Gods. It is, I mean, it's effectively single-player teamfight tactics. Okay. Let's do that to upgrade. Oh, and we've got a Earthshaker. And we'll grab another Night Face. Okay, so this guy requires eight. I'm so close. But yeah, getting this guy down will give me another Guardian. So he increases his block chance. And that'll max out the demon thing. Okay, so giving her... Giving her the flail is meaningless. Let's just give her the shield. Actually, probably spell protection more than anything else. Okay, then back down, mana addict, promote. Not that we're using him. Okay. View redeemed items. Ah. What can we get? Power field? No. Strange dice? No. Can get another protective field book. We will do that. Oh, upgrade. Cooldown reduced by 8 seconds or spell defense of allies under the effects of the force field also increased by 15%. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, this looks fun. Uh, let's see, what do we have? I think I'd just go. I could maybe switch some things around. Oh, uh, oh right, I can promote the Forest Dryad. Okay. Well, we're kicking ass. Alright, defeat the boss for the first time, get a bunch of chests. So what else we got? Earthshaker souls? Yes. Probably buy these two, and we'll get another one of those. Uh, let's see. Followers. Yep, promote the Dryad. Crit chance, basic defense, penetration. We give, give it to this guy? Yeah. Okay, dodge chance 12%, restore 8 mana after casting a skill. Basic defense, reduce damage taken when blocking. Does she block? I guess she must. Okay, let's give her the dodge chance. And go back to the dryad. Let's see. Because I believe the Dryad... I thought it was the Dryad that did the taunting. No, this one does the taunting. I think? Yeah, the Mad Soul will taunt enemies within five yards. Kind of up for either. I do have enough for the second tank, though. So let's give him the Night Face, 
the solid armor, and we'll just give him that. We actually want to buff the Forest Dryad to make it do that much more damage. To the dirty sewer, I guess. Okay, rarity of items found, plus 50%. I mean, yeah. Reset that. That's... That might hurt. We will see. Okay. So we got the demon and we got the guardian buffs. Let's see. Reflect 20% of spell damage. Take it. Ooh. Damage will not exceed 15% of max health. I still want the uh, Summoner 6 if I can manage it. Because I feel like that would be the next thing I'd really want to work towards. Wait. I should probably actually heal these guys a smidge. Okay, let's speed this up. We don't need to... Well... I guess actually speeding up is kind of bad for me, because then it's harder for me to leverage my abilities. Okay. Refresh, see if I get any, anything fancy out here. Guess let's grab that one. Okay, so we've picked up a whole bunch of items. Go back to the Dragon Queen. Go back to Earthshaker, give him that, maybe? And well, it's kind of awkward to do so. Let's do that there. Probably give him 10% dodge chance instead. Okay, keep rolling. Let's see, we want to go here. Really got to keep an eye out for potential summoners. That didn't work. That's okay, we win anyway. It doesn't matter. We are absolutely rolling things. Hey, there it is. The Mechanical Core Summoner summons cannons. Also Predator, restore, regenerate 1.2% of max health per second. Basic leech, very dang high. Let's see, so do I wanna... Let's grab another Pain Origin. Recharge. Increase summon damage and summon health. Hell yeah. There's also the pirate countess. But no. Buy the solid armor. Okay. So let's go back to the dragon queen. Her HP is okay. I think we want to give her... The Predator. And we're going to want to go back to Forest Dryad. Okay, take these off. Let's give her the Summoner Boost. I guess we'll hold on to that one. Okay, so let's do... Prevenger. Is that actually worth it, though? I don't think it is. The extra health would be lovely. I don't think we want it. Okay, so let's go back to the Dryad. I don't know. 
We got a lot of tank items. I should probably maybe diversify for DPS. But I'm mostly just trying to keep my tanks alive. Uh, let's see. I don't see any summoners. Do we go demon? We did get the... We did get the tank th thing. Oh, I see. We can also see... I'm just gonna time orb refresh. Let's go here. Because if I can find that last summoner that potentially makes me a lot stronger, I don't know if I'd want to get rid of my frontliners, though. Yeah, don't forget the cannon lad. The only problem with the cannon lad... is I don't have a space for him yet. We're working on it. We ain't there yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no summoner. What else do we have? Basic defense penetration. Another gem boots. Or summons health and summons damage. Let's grab that. Okay. Go to you. Okay, because we wanna we wanna equipment transmog. Take this off. It's time to upgrade. Oh, I guess I should have done oh, I could have done that. Oh, there's even a chance for like full-on legendary. Okay, back to Earthshaker, toss that on. Uh, let's see, and somebody here can be upgraded. Ah, yes, the Goblin Hunter that I never use. Eh. Inactive? Oh. What did I just do? I summoned a... Oh, it costs soul orbs to activate them. Whoops. Can I, can I send him away? I did not mean to pick up that bear. I don't think I can. Well, I guess I just have a bear. So I'm just missing the underground lord. Another nature summoner, actually. Oh, hold up. Let's see. Set to the bottom right of the screen to sell them. This screen? I'm not seeing a sell button. We have clean up. Maybe I, it has to be done in the shop. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, just out on the menu. Might want to consider getting rid of some of these guys at some point. I I got a whole bunch of rangers if I wanted to go that way. But, eh. Oh, I can also sell my trash items for gold. Eh, maybe. Okay. Personally, I think I'm just going to buy souls. Let's see, do I have enough for anything else? Nope, everything else is pretty pricey. That's fine. Onwards. Where are we going, words? This way, words. Dang, that healing is pretty good. Okay. Pro potentially upgrade her soon. I said soon. I didn't realize the answer was immediately. <laughs> well, we found the underground lord. If I want to go that direction. Uh, do I want to spend my money on it? Sure. We'll do it.
Let's see, attack power, attack speed. Let's buy that. Okay, so we want to do equipment transmog. Bonk, autofill, transmute. There we go. So who is this on? This was on the Earth Shaker. Seems decent. And we can promote him. Same thing with the Soul Watcher. I forget. Okay, so extra max health, extra basic damage. Wow. Actually, that really does make a difference. If the Earthshaker has not received a critical strike within six seconds, half the maximum health will be restored every second. So we might want to actually take the Predator off and put it on the Earthshaker. Because he seems like a decent regen boy anyway. Okay, uh, clean up. But most of that stuff is unbelievable garbage anyway. Let's just roll what we have. I am digging this. This is a, this is a solid auto battler. Right, I should probably actually use my abilities to save my Dragon Queen. Yeah, Rage Boy did not die. Uh, do we pick this up? No, we want to grab the Sanctioner, at the very least. Do we want to? Sure. Spell defense, basic spell defense. Okay. Well, I already own one of those. I'm glad that it tells me that I already have one. Let's just, uh, we don't, we're not really using her for much, but I might as well upgrade her stuff so she's not just total garbage. There we go. Now they're actually fairly well equipped. Yeah, let's go this way. Fight! she in the middle of that? Yeah, she is. But yeah, it's got it's got a lot of what I like out of like TFT and whatnot, but without actually uh, other people that I need to be like, oh, I hate you. Okay, let's get another predator. And seeing as while we're while we're here, we might as well buy the robot arm. Okay, let me try my luck. So what do we buy? How much do I have? I have enough for some dark Amazons. Hey, perfect. Might as well promote some of these guys. Okay, so now I've got another. <sighs> what is. What is her basic defense to begin with? 54%. I'm gonna get rid of the precious robe, which in retrospect is not tank equipment anyway. Okay, and let's go back to the dark Amazons. Let's, let's switch a couple of these things in. Because the dark Amazon should be much more about summoning a bunch of those birds. Alright, and it is... Horse Lagula. Oh. Ah, that's easy. So far, so good. What else we got? Uh, let's see. Beef that up. Might as well buy the purples as we go by. Do we waste... Do we waste the money? 
just upgrade his leadership by one. Yeah, let's waste the money and just trying to crew as many good things as we can. Let's see, what is that? Eh, I mean, it's actually pretty good for max HP. I'll pick it up. Alright. That's all I got. So, hero skill. We can upgrade rebirth. Maximum number of casts or life recovered per second increased by 100. Yeah. I rarely even get the chance to use them anyway. Oops. Uh, eh. It's fine on him. Filthy blood. Crit chance debuff damage. I don't know if I have a character with debuff. Now I'm thinking about it. Okay, so what do we do with her? Max health. Seems like that would be really good. Yeah, that would be really good on Earthshaker. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. I didn't quite realize we had two of those. Of course. Okay. Dodge chance, spell crit chance. Unfortunately, none of my guys cast spells, really. So, in retrospect, that's pretty garbage on them. Okay, do any of these guys have a debuff? No, that's not a debuff. I think so. What about this guy? Within two yards of your own, the number of allies party greater than the enemy. Damage will be increased. Huh. Can I fit the cannon yet? No. I can probably fit Underground Lord in a bit. It's probably safe for the cannon, though. Alright, so the Lost Church. Yeah, Dragon Queen has a spell. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Probably go this one. This kind of varied. And onwards. What do we do now? Demons and Summoners? Yeah. I'd like to get the Dragon Queen up. Just in terms of scale. Oh. I guess we could just fit a dude in. We'll just chuck him there. Poor little sucker's gonna die so fast. Did I lose my Dragon Queen already? I did. They nuked her right out. Okay, buy those. Let's see. Got the gems boots. Regenerate HP. Eh. Sagehood. Ah! I should have been patient. Oh well. Let's see. So I don't think we can combine anything down. Yeah, that would that would have been enough souls to upgrade her. Oh. Well. Let's just keep going this direction. Do I have enough? Yes. To at least get him out. I think we want him to be in the center, just because he does a... like a team-wide buff. Oh, this is working fairly well. If Ratman doesn't work out, you can always cannon boy. Well, that was kind of the plan. That's real good. And we'll grab another Nimble Boots. 
Okay. Back to this. Some more mana for them. Forest Dryad. Okay, right, and we still also have the Underground Lord. We want mana for this one. I guess we'll give them... Oh yeah, they already have the Noble Boots. And do I have enough for the cannon? No. Uh, let's see, do we just... Jam Junk onto what's-his-face? Guess we might as well. I'll just give him whatever's whatever I've got on hand. I'm not gonna think about him too much. Let's see. Am I able to make any sets yet? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I don't know. I should check that. Okay. Well, there's a higher tiered night face. It's okay. Let's refresh. Let's see if I can get something fancy. Okay, not exactly what I was expecting, but it works well enough for me. Transmog up. Okay. So yeah, that's a question. Collection. Can it make any sets yet? Our equivalent nature. That's okay. I gotta, I gotta pay attention to some of this because I, I can give my guys extra backgrounds, I guess. So is there a um, summoner proof? There is. The only problem is most of these are kind of. I mean, I've got some of the parts. I'm gonna have to keep. I'm gonna have to keep an eye eye on some of these. I think we might want to just start collecting purples, or we wait. Yeah, Mana Void. Prevenger, Redwood, and a Shadow Ceremony. When a when a basic attack hits, there's a 100% chance to steal mana from the enemy. I feel like that would be pretty good. What else we got? Yeah, unfortunately, most of these don't look particularly great for tanks. This one. 30% chance to cause poisonous blood to the target when basic attack hits. Yeah, so some of these absolutely we're going to want to care about. I should have probably been carrying... I should have cared about this a long time ago. I wonder if... This counts for rare and upwards. I do wish it actually showed a number of these. So we could do ghostly. Preventure, Nightface, and Earthblood. Let's see if I can just slap that onto somebody. Oh, do we not have a high high enough tier Nightface? We might not. I think I saw it go by, but I was uninterested. Yeah. I I hope they make it a little easier to see the uh like see the blessings along the way. Okay, so Earthshaker, you get the Prevenger. Oh, unique equipment. When attacked, basics defense Oh right, I forgot. Because, yeah, you can see what the unique ability is, too. Chance of block 12%. Reduce control to... Yeah, that's... This is super good. 
Oh, actually, no, it says you need to beat the final boss to unlock them. Okay, so I, d I can't do item sets even if I wanted to. Well, it makes it easier. Let's see. Give him the attack speed. Go for the max health. Alright, what do we have? What do we even go for? Where do I have? That's 600. Let's just go for that. I'm just going to keep buying souls. Because I, I think souls are supposed to carry over between runs. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to keep going for demon souls because uh, I really, I really got to get her up a tier. She's absolutely rocking it despite the uh, the limitations. Okay, well we can upgrade the underground lord. There's the duel master. Okay. I'm just going to be re-rolling probably too much here. I don't know. I guess I'll just buy a Wind Scout for some unknown reason. I guess it's not terrible. I just don't have any spell uh, characters where spell crit chance actually makes a difference. Alright, onwards. No demons, so I guess we're going to go this way. Hello! No, I, I am digging this. This is a solid roguelike. I'm curious about how much the meta progression messes with the whole setup. But as far as, like, uh, getting that authentic auto chess feel, this feels a lot more, like, direct. Astronarch was great, don't get me wrong. Gonna, yeah, I'll just grab purples as we go by. General Obsidian or another Demon Horde? Let's go for the Obsidian. Okay, because I believe he is currently wearing a lower tier version of that. We also have the Silver Moon. I don't know where to put that one. Uh, let's see, but we can promote her. She's she's up to three star. Goes up to five star even. <laughs> My absolute poor d Dragon Queen. It'll help her a lot too. It would be great if summoners crit summon beefier minions. That'd be so cool! Okay, souls don't carry over. Three meta progression things after you beat the final boss. You also loop a bit if you want more rewards. You don't lose anything after failure. Hey! Alright. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. I, I'm i along for the ride and I'm enjoying it. Because I really enjoyed TFT, but it was definitely one of those where it didn't really feel like I was... Alright. I should probably heal her. Uh... I wasn't given as much, like, room to explore, and I, I don't know, I just, I'm not a big PvP kind of guy. Oh, there, there it is. Oh, that was the mother load right there. Okay. I'm pretty sure, oh, right, we can upgrade the mechanical core, which is good. We can't use it yet, but it's good. I can go up to nine stars. Cripes. Okay. Let me try my luck. I don't have enough gold. Well then, that makes my life easier. Onwards, it's boss time. But that's okay, because I'm stronger. Dang, that's a good heal. Holy shit, that's a good heal. OK. 
Okay. Might as well grab another Overlord Fist as we go by. Like I said, I'll probably buy purples when and where I can get them. Okay. Big problem is we're going to need... I'm going to start spending money. we got to get up to 72 to get the Mechanical Core in. Once we get that, we're in a very good spot. Okay. Let's just go with this. These are boring. Let's go there. Heal right back up. That regen movie is silly. Okay. And these are boring. Eh, not that. That's not boring. Oh, hi. Night Owl. So legendaries are just going to start dropping. Okay. Upgrade the Eidolon Ranger. Now let's go for that. Okay, so we want to go back to the Dark Amazons. Give them Night Owl. Do I? Is that worth it? It's not. Like, we get the mana back, but there's nothing else about it that actually makes it useful. Let's see. Yeah, this is the this is the one downside to these guys specifically. Back to the Dryad. Oh gosh, Puppet Mask. I didn't even realize how busted Puppet Mask would be. But that's like, that's, that's broke strong. Uh, let's see. Two, two more. I guess we'll just plonk him down. It would be nice if there was a DPS meter. Absolutely. There we go. I also really like the spells, though, admittedly, I think I'm always just going to default to these like an absolute goon. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Earthblood. Oak Axe is good. Okay. So first off, autofill, upgrade. Who's that from, anyway? Forest Dryad. Let's see. Give it back. Wait. Oh, did that fail? It might have? Yeah, I, I think the trends bog failed. Alas. Okay. Back to the spirit shaman. Switch it for the axe. I don't know why this guy is necessarily... Okay, graph icon next to the loot icon. Oh. So, yep, it definitely looks like making my Spirit Shaman into a DPS man worked. The Underground Lord actually does a lot of damage. My tanks are garbage, though. At taking damage. I love how the Forest Dryad also is just tanking shit like crazy. Whew. Okay. What is his crit chance? It's 
50%. Maybe, maybe we switch this in. This goes 60%. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. The other thing to consider, we have enough demons. They do get four mana when hitting an enemy with a basic attack. So let's actually go back to the Dark Amazons and just give her some attack speed. Okay. Let's just go this direction. Oh, you know what? I got this Stinger Scorpion. We should probably beef him up. Either beef him or beef somebody else. Either that or we get one more nature. What does nature do? Eh, it's not that great. Yeah, we'll just beef the scorpion. At least for now. Okay, Stinger Scorpion. Give him some regen. I don't think he's going to benefit from that that much. There we go. This way, hopefully, he won't just die. Nope, he's just dead. Ah, whatever. Hopefully we make enough money. Yes. 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 Alternatively, we could get... No, that's not actually going to help me that much. Grab those. Grab that. We roll one more time. Hey, you know what? I'll get it anyway. Okay. So Forest Dryad's even tougher. And now we can get rid of this schmuck in favor of this schmuck. Which of these actually has the most amount of HP? Forest Dryad, 100%. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go back to the Stinger Scorpion, take these off. Mechanical Core. When basic attack hits, 10% chance of repairing one cannon, full of health and resetting its, its existence time. If there's no cannon in the field, one cannon will... Oh... Okay, so we want to give this guy attack speed. Like, mad attack speed if I can. I don't think I necessarily want to take the attack speed that I've already taken. Let's see. Yeah, do I have anything else that is attack speed based? Currently not. I guess we'll just give him whatever for a moment. Right, and then promote him. Because he is three-star already. The guy that I waited forever to show up and then just didn't bother using for reasons. I don't have enough gold. Well then, that... Easy enough. Onwards. We're still looking for demon bits, but I guess we're getting summons. All right, whatever. Yeah, so now, I believe all my summoners just immediately pop their summons right from the get-go. Which is kind of what we're looking for. All right, let's buy that. Buy another one of these helmets. That's attack speed. It's attack speed, but spell damage penetration. That's not something I care too much for. failed. Should probably look into transmog chance. Cuz I'm I'm pretty sure I'm hurting myself at this point. 
Okay. So what's his attack per second? It's okay. They're just wailing on the Dragon Queen, aren't they? Alright. Yeah, 53% whiff chance at legendaries. I don't think I was specking into them particularly well. We're just gonna... We're just gonna accrue for a bit, and I'll see about getting more later. You want me to... Get these bows. Yeah, I'll just buy him. Okay, autofill. Okay, summons health and damage. Let's take it on her. What does this guy get? I don't know. Actually, oh, attack power and attack speed. Let's get it on him. Yeah, my Underground Lord is still actually a really good damage dealer. Why? It's not like he actually does a whole lot of damage. It must purely be, be because of his summons. Okay. Well, this solves problems. Attack speed increased by 60%, but active skills will not be cast. Oh, that's rough. We'll buy it, but that's real rough. Okay, anything else? Oh, I should have actually bought that. Ranked up my Dark Amazons? Oh, well. Try my luck. I don't have much. We will keep buying demon souls. And then onwards. Hello! Scale fates. I don't think I lost any of my dudes. Wow, we were just ripping straight through them. Okay. Another pain origin? Nah. There we go. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Let's recharge. I probably should have refreshed first. Okay, there we go. That's a pretty good setup. Gemini Palace. So next up, we're going to want to look into Transmog Chance. I don't like this. I guess I could have re-rolled that, but whatever. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't care. It's like pretty much a 50-50. It's a 50-50 that is effectively a 0% chance. I think I've failed every single one of those. Holy shit! This might actually be the last fight.
Okay. Come on, summon army. I love Bee Shooter Boy. He's so good. All right, we win. Just barely. All right. Defeated the boss. Beat it for the first time. Let's buy some stuff. Close out of that. So, what are my options? Okay, so this is replay maps or finish. We're just going to finish. Progress of this expedition will not be retained at after the end of it. All items obtained in this expedition, except for the demon chest, cannot be brought back to the tavern. Are you sure? Yeah, sure. We'll just end. I want to I want to see what happens now that we've beaten it. Oh. The chests are the things that I've earned. Oh. Okay. Congratulations on beating the normal difficulty game. Later, you can challenge higher difficulty by inserting the feature gems. Stash. Uh, is there no reason why I shouldn't just grab all of these? We also have... Synergy. Oh, I forgot about synergies. S suit runes. I mean, I'm assuming I want to collect all of them. There's something about sales. We don't know what gems are used for yet. Feature gems. Extra game difficulty, but extra transmog. Rarity. Ah. Uh, Okay. Open the mystic box. Need to put in three items. I just... Gosh. What else do we have? Follower. Uh, okay. Do I... Just collect the hell out of everything? Okay, this synergy has already been activated. How do I sell it? Okay, I'm just gonna click on everything. We might as well unlock it all. First. These look wild. Okay, so followers are starter unlocks. Yeah, figured as much. Synergies. Fight with Ancient Aegis and Ghost Sorcerer. Effect. The spell power changes will affect the bleed damage caused by Dismemberer. So some of these guys have synergies, but we're going to have to unlock a lot of them. Just by playing the game. I... Boy. This is real good. It's going to... It's going to take a while to get everything, but as far as, like, auto-battler roguelikes go, this has got kind of what I was talking about and looking for. I feel like the items could be a little bit more immediately interesting, maybe. Uh, you know, many of them are just percentage-based. A little bit of procedural generation with some really unique effects could be kind of cool, but at the same time, like, it, it really does feel like Hey, you like TFT? You like Dota Underlords? You like Auto Chess? Here it is, but in roguelike form. Uh, let's see. I have a couple of level 2 summoners now. Oh, you're right. So level 2 means they start stronger, maybe? Because it looks like it's a slight increase in stats. At least I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to play more of this. Oh, and this is still early access. I didn't even realize that. All right. Well, we'll probably do a couple more runs uh, sometime over the course of this week, and then we will come back for more later. But for now, I'm really, really hungry. <laughs>